Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. All right, so my last video, hopefully you watched it. You'll see that I purchased a brand new iPhone 14. And when I did, I did this to replace my aging and failing 10R, XR. What you want to do? So when I purchased this one, I purchased it with a trading kit from Apple. So I purchased it from Apple and they send you a box here with a packing slip to uh, UPS, some instructions on how to do this and some um, tape to tape the box up. Then there's a place that you put it here inside the box. It used to have a plastic sleeve on it. Uh, don't know why they don't do it anymore, but this is the plastic's probably the thing about them. So what you do, you just stick it in here and, and let it go. But I'm going to show you how we need to reset the phone first. And they tell you that in the instructions here, I believe. This is the second, second or third time I've done this. Well, no, they, they don't actually uh, tell you to reset it, but you can uh, send back a watch or a, a phone in this box. So, and they have a QR code right here that you can take a shot with your camera and they'll send you to the support link. But I'm going to show you how I do it today. So let's get down here. We'll... Uh, Crank the phone up, the old phone. We'll crank it up here and I'll walk you through the steps on resetting it. Not one to turn on. There we go. Boot it up here and uh, I'll walk you through the steps on how I do this. Let's drop down there on the table. Okay, so when I crank the phone up, now you want to make absolutely sure that you have your new phone set up the way you want it everything is there and it's working great so i'd give it a day or two you have 14 days to get this done in and get it sent back make sure you got your new phone set up and it's working correctly if not you'll need to set it, redo it or send it back so when you crank this thing up it says what's next step for this iphone get step-by-step -step instructions to prepare this phone to be sold given away or traded through apple trade-in Okay, we don't really need to do that. Uh, you can if you want to. So I'm gonna put in my code and we are gonna go to settings. Then we're gonna go down to, and it, they give you instructions on how to get started and all this other stuff. We're gonna go to general. We're gonna go to transfer or reset iPhone. It says prepare for a new iPhone. We're going to go down here to the bottom where it says erase all content and settings. And it'll sit there for just a little bit. And from what I've, I've done this a few times, it really doesn't tell you very much when it's doing it. Goodness, I'm getting a lot of notifications. Okay. Okay, erase, dang it. Erase this iPhone. Grayson will sign you out of your Apple ID and remove your personal data so this iPhone can be safely traded in or given away. And here's all my stuff. I want to hit continue, the erase iPhone, put in my passcode. I want to skip the backup. You have to put your Apple ID password in. Okay, and there it goes. Now it's going to erase the phone. So I'll speed you through this. We'll look and see how long it takes to do this. Okay, that took about three minutes. And as you can see, we're at the uh, multi-language hello screen here. Now it is completely wiped. So what we'll do, we'll hold the up volume, the up volume and the wake button together and power it off. 
Now make sure if you have it in a case, take the case off. They do not want that. You might wipe it off a little bit. And if you told them it's in really good shape, hopefully it is. Mine is in perfect shape. No scratches, no nothing, just some fingerprints on it. So I'll wipe that off. We'll go ahead and put it in the, the box here, just like this. Close it up. Just like that. Now, you can just put this piece of tape on it, but I'm going to actually put another piece of uh, shipping tape on it. And then you'll put your UPS label on right away and take it over to the uh, UPS store and drop it off. Or if there's a UPS drop off in your area, you can do that. Okay, so there you have it. Shipping labels on, tape. I put an extra piece of, of uh, shipping tape on there. And it is ready to go back to the UPS store. Hopefully this helps somebody out and uh, get it back to them and hopefully it'd be all right. So anyway, hope y'all get something out of this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. Gonna be a lot more content coming out. Just got to find time to do it. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great day and a great week. Christmas is in three days. Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year, and if you celebrate some other holiday, then have at it. So, anyway, hope you guys are having a great day, and like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.